So, oh, you know what I forgot to write up there is the um, the root, the Latin. Oh no. Okay. So this was the Latin word, and it has come through to modern English as what? I didn't really tell you what it came to be in a modern English word, what it's come as a base. But I have given you all this evidence so that you could decide what it is and what our base is that we could fill in there, where all of these words could be on this matrix. So look at this list and tell me what you think the base is going to be. What do you think, Petra? Grad. Well, we don't pronounce a base. Or we G-R-A-D. always spell. G-R-A-D. Okay, so you're thinking G R A. D. D with a possible E. With a possible E. What does somebody else think? I think that's what we all call it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, think, I think it's just G-R-A-D. G-R-A-D? Oh. G-R-A-D? Without 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 what without evidence do we have here to support the idea of a possible E? Ooh, I, what do we have here, Sabia? Um, well, some after the G R A D, some have E's and some don't. Um, like the ones with endings. Okay. Which ones have the E? Um, grade. Um, upgrade. Oh yeah, upgrade. Crater. Okay, so all of those have the GRAD followed by an E. So that would be your evidence that what is our base? GRAD possible E. Okay. Because we have this word right here, is the E still possible? Or is the E for sure? No, it's, it's for sure. It's, it's, it's for sure. Okay. I think it's totally fine to think about it that way and to write it like that. Okay? I think it's totally fine to do that. But we sure do have evidence because it surfaces in a whole bunch of the words on our list that it has to be part of the base. In fact, if we look at it right here, what would we call it? What kind of base? A free base. It's a free base. This can be a word on its own, right? It, it isn't bound. It doesn't have to have a prefix or a suffix. Our evidence is right here, OK? Now, tell me about what your grade is. What grade are you currently in? Yes. You're in fifth grade. How does that have anything to do with the denotation that I've included with this, Frankie? Like a step, a step climb. Like you were in fourth grade, and you went up to fifth grade. Okay, so you're at the fifth grade step. Are you staying here forever? No. 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 Very shortly, you'll be going yeah. up a step. Six step. Except for the few of you will be going back down to fourth grade. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. That's me. That's me. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not going back to no. I'm going back They're going to be stepping up again, stepping up to sixth grade. Yes. Um, you're raising by stages. Yeah, well, you are raising by stages. Stage in sixth grade and seventh grade. Excellent, excellent. Okay. So this word right here is already on there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's already on there. We don't have to figure out how to put this word on our matrix because it's there. We just, it is. All right, so this word is on there. All right, what else are we noticing about any of these words? Are there any others where we could... Actually, let's take a look at our matrix. Now this is an interesting matrix, isn't it? What do we have over here? What does that tell us when we have three compartments on that side of the base? Ooh. Alex? There's going to be a connecting vowel. There might be a connecting vowel. And there's going to be two uh, stuff, and there's going to be how three suffixes or two. There's either going to be a connecting vowel and two suffixes, or there's going to be three suffixes. Exactly what you said. Excellent, Sam. 
do you recognize any words up here that we could do that and take care of that are going to have either a connective vowel and two suffixes or three suffixes? Please. Carter. Gradually. Gradually. Okay. Tell me what you're thinking about gradually. Uh, like the word sum? Yep. G R A D possible E plus U plus A L plus L Y. Mmm. What do you guys yeah. think about that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we could possibly, that could possibly fit over here, couldn't it? What would I put in the first one? U. The U. What would go here? A L A L. L Y. All right. So what is the word gradually represented here? Yeah. What would happen to the E? It would be replaced by the vowel, the connecting vowel U. Yep. And then we would have A L L Y gradually. Okay, excellent. Is there another one like that? So another one that's going to use a U connecting vowel that might have two? Because we wouldn't go from here skipping over the U. We would have to have something with a U and another and another. Mark. Um, graduate and graduation. Okay, let's get gradually checked off that we have it represented. Um, and okay, so you're saying this one? Okay. Show me what to put over here. Um, so the G R A D possibly plus U plus A T no E plus I O N. Excellent to remember the E. Excellent to remember the E. Yeah. All right. And then that has the graduate. <coughs> and then, so we've got graduation. And if we just do that, we've got graduate. So we actually put on two. Where did I put graduates? Down here. We also have gradual. gradual. Oh, we also have gradual all of a sudden represented. We have a couple of them. Very nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Gradient. Gradient. What about this? So you're thinking that the I is a connecting vowel? Yeah. And the E and T is a suffix? Yeah. So where do we have a spot to put that on that side? Right above it. Okay. So we could use this as a different connecting vowel. Is it possible to have two different connecting vowels? Yes. Okay. Because what language are we talking about? Latin. Latin. If it was Greek, what connecting vowel would we be talking about? O. 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 All right, and E and T. You sure E and T is a suffix? Yeah. Okay. I'm just confused because we have E R E D and I N G left, and okay. there's that, only one. I, there's oh, the though. big space. I, yeah, you I, put I cut more in the I cut those into however many, and then I put those in. Yeah. Okay. As long as we're looking at suffixes, let's keep looking at suffixes. Now, your question is. What about this and this and this? Yeah. They go in okay. the big space. Yeah. They go in the big yeah, space. I cut them. Okay. So is what or what order would you like me to put them in there? Is there a particular order no. they need to be no. in? No. No. Okay. So tell me what to write. E D. I R G. I G. So that takes care of grading, grader, graded. It takes care of all three of those. They're all represented. Does that help, Mark? Yeah, see, I just thought, like, um, it was just one, but I could put three. Right. The thing is that I can go to that one, I can go to that one, I can go to that one. I can go to that one and then that one. I can go to that one and then that one. I go to that one, that one, that one, and then that one. <laughs> but I have to go in order, right? I can't skip over a space. All right, so I think we've got everything with a suffix taken care of. Am I correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what are we going to do next? Oliver. Um, so for the bottom left hand corner, um, you put um, C E N T and T A R D and P L A N T and then right next to it when you put an I. So yeah. you're saying this space would be a connecting vowel yeah. I. Yeah, that's okay. Right. That's the space for the I. 
And uh, here we could do the C E N T, and this one is represented. D A R D. D A R D. And that's represented. P L A N T. What about left? Yeah, I, we put like a line Oh, it's not going to be a connecting vowel no, unless. Yeah. Yeah. Retro, it says in a compound word. Oh, yes, it is a compound word. Excellent, excellent. So, it's is it going to work here? No, no, no it's not going to work here. Yeah. Um, in the ones, like the long one, longer one, the second one, why don't you put retro there? Right here? Yeah. Quite possibly. We put, I put down. What do we have left, left here? Upgrade, upgrade retrograde, down. degrade, and downgrade. What's the difference between upgrade, downgrade, degrade, and retrograde? Do you see a difference? Do you see any one of those that is slightly different than the others? Because we could, this looks like a bigger space to put some of them, and one is going to be separated out, right? But which one and why? I yeah. feel like degrade would be in the middle box because it's not a compound word like all the others. Excellent. So this is a prefix, right? Yeah. Okay. So then we can do that. And then what should I write up there? Let's up. Okay. Up, up, up down, down, and retro. 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 And tell me again where my compound words are. The first one. The top one, down the grade. Okay. Yeah, since, you know, if we, were, if we went to Mini Matrix Maker and we made a matrix, they would be bolded, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. And that would help us know that they are a, a compound word. Anything else would be bolded? Do we have any other compound words besides these three? Upgrade, downgrade, retrograde? Quarts. Plantigrade? Mm -hmm. Any others? Cent. Centigrade? Tard. Tardgrade. Yeah. Tard. Um, yeah, does this make sense to you? Do you guys understand C E N T? Yeah. Having to do with 100? Yeah, because there's a hundred cents. That's right. There's a hundred cents and a dollar, right? There's a hundred pennies, each one cent. And, um, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of this plantar fasciitis. Some people have that. I don't know if you have a family member where the bottom of their foot is sore and they have difficulty walking. They have to stretch out the tendons. It's, it's, it's painful. They usually put their foot on ice if they have this happening. But for me, when I saw that, I went, oh, I'm aware. So P-L-A-N-T, having something to do with the foot and stepping down on a foot makes a lot of sense. With You're stepping with your whole foot. And T-A-R-D, what happens if you are late for school? What do we call you? Tardy. Tardy. Right, right? So it's, it's slow or behind. And what happens if you are in music class and you are singing and then you see this word that you're supposed to retard there? What are you supposed, you're supposed to do on that last line of music where it says you're coming to the retard? Put the stress on. No. Slow it down. You're supposed to actually sing it slower, right? And a tardigrade is a slow stepper. It's a microorganism that is a slow stepper. Um, I'm about to show you a picture of one because I think it's you're going to so be like, weird. It's so, so weird. weird. So weird. Yes. Could I make a matrix? Yeah. 